enough with that music. Uh, the opening, obviously, we got uh, a little bit of the John Williams for this famous Steven Spielberg movie of Jaws. Um, however, as far as I can tell, this game has nothing at all to do with the movie. Um, I wish, I wish it, uh, <laughs> I wish it did. I wish uh, that was Richard Dreyfuss right there, but uh, it, it, it's not. Um, so yeah, well, here we go. Um, perfect playthrough. LJN gets a bad rep, we know. Uh, boy, they've made some crap over the years. That's all right. Um, at the beginning, you're pretty slow. You're pretty weak. You're just, yep, little dude in a wetsuit. Doesn't even have flippers on, doesn't look like to me. So uh, this is this is pretty much the game. We kill jellyfish, and we kill um, the sea race. Uh, this game was released in 1987. Like I said in the intro, uh, this game is very nostalgic for me. I loved it. I loved Jaws growing up. Jaws scared the hell out of me. It's probably my it's a top three, top five horror movies of all time. Um, it's more of a thriller, I understand, but it scared the hell out of me. It scared a lot of people. Kept a lot of people out of the ocean. Uh, well, there's Jaws. Boom. Uh, we're, what, uh, just shoot a minute into the game, and the final boss is on screen. Um we can't kill him yet. Um, we can do a little bit of damage, slow him down. Uh, at this point, the main thing we're trying to do is gather shells. Um, the whole point of this game is to gather shells. With the shells, you can upgrade your weapon, even though it has no physical appearance difference at all. Uh, really, the main thing to get early on are those crabs. I know it's one of the only times in life you want to get crabs. Uh, you definitely want to get crabs, and a lot of crabs. Uh, I believe three or four will get you to top speed. As you can see, my guy's going significantly faster already. There's more crabs. All right, so we're uh, a minute in, and we're at top speed. <laughs> um, now, the the other key to this game are the bonus stages, and a lot of people don't understand. They think they just come at random. They don't come at random. The small sharks, as you see right here, those are what give you your bonus stages. Uh, the small sharks will drop a shell. Once you gather that shell, 75% of the time, you will be launched into a bonus game after the screen. Um, let's see if we get one. Yep, so there we go. We, we got the shell from the small shark, and here we go. Bonus, bonus game. Um, these are bread and butter. I like using that term, bread and butter. Um, perfect there. Uh, what you're going to do is you get your, your hit number at the bottom, Divide that by three, that's how many shells you get out of the bonus round. Um, ideally, you get uh, 10 shells. If you get 30 hits, 10 shells. I, here's a great run here. Now, I haven't played this game in years. Um, this is just how much uh, lingering skill I have, I suppose you could say. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I yeah, I, like I said, we played the shit out of this game uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, this was our favorite game down in Florida. Uh, yeah, we played a lot of it, and then we'd go swim. Um, so yeah, no, again, it's it's nothing. It, 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 you can't compare it to the movie. It has nothing. Yeah. So anyway, you go in. First thing you're gonna get when you go to the first port will be the receiver. Now this game is very linear. Linear. You literally go back and forth. So um, we get different depths. Again, jellyfish and sea race. That's uh, that's what we're after. Once uh, you need to get about power four, power five. Once you hit power four, power five, uh, then you can take Jaws's power down. At this point, you can try to attack Jaws. Uh, it's not going to do you much good. Now, the other thing that you can gain in this game is the submarine. Uh, um, I won't get it in this playthrough because there's honestly no need to get it. It does make your guy go faster and do a little bit more damage. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I believe the key to unlocking the submarine is 30,000 points. Um, so if you really want the submarine, you can gather the stars. Now, the Jaws tracker just lets you know when Jaws is near. Uh, it, it's very obnoxious. Again, I got the sound off here. I'm just going to talk you guys through. There's no need to hear the sound at this point. So, yeah, there's our second port, Power 2. And uh, now we just make a mad dash for Power, you guessed it, Power 3. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. And now it does cost, so you are going to, you can't just go back and forth between the ports. You see that one cost me five shells there to upgrade to power three. Uh, you definitely have to see. I went and checked there. Uh, 
the submarine always appears in the same place, and you see Jaws's fin, Jaws fin pop up. Um, see, I didn't have enough conch shells. Uh, I believe it goes up by one or two each time, so I need seven or eight. Um, so I was crashed really close to Jaws, so he will pop up again. He's nothing difficult. He he swims at a slight angle towards you, but you're safe at the top of the screen. Uh, is that a glitch? Is that part of the game? Who knows? Um, I'd like to think it's part of the game, part of the strategy they gave you. Um, when I was a kid, now I've, this game was difficult for me. I, I didn't understand. There, the strategy is don't go to the bottom. The jellyfish get you at the bottom. If you stay towards the middle, towards the top of the screen, it's very easy to avoid. See, that's risky. Anytime you go to the bottom of the screen, you're risking a jellyfish coming right up on you, which they will do. Um, see he, here, even at power three, I've got what five, five, six bars uh, taken off Jaws's life. So we have enough shells now. Ooh, that was a close one. The dirty uh, baby shark Jaws tandem here. Um, Give that shell and see if they give us a bonus stage. Nope, they didn't. So like I said, about 75% of the time. So here we go into shore. Power four. Uh, you could probably take Jaws down at this point. Um, it, the thing is, is if you don't kill him, he's going to gain a significant portion of his life back and you're going to be stuck in this cycle. So might as well just keep going between them uh, till you get about power five or six. Um, once you hit five, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. The other uh, thing you can do, and I'll show you here in a few, is if you crash directly into Jaws, into the dorsal fin, you're going to get the um, the ability to start lobbing cannonballs over the side. Uh, and literally, the cannonballs are as big as the ship. It, it's amazing. It, um, something to remember in this game, three projectiles out at a time, whether you're in the bonus stage dropping cannonballs whether you're in the ship lobbing them over the side or whether you are simply shooting your little harpoon gun that you have here three sprites on screen at once is all you get for your weapons no matter what weapon you're using uh, there you saw i didn't even go for the the conch shell i've got enough i got a bonus scene coming here um try to clean up on on the uh the jellyfish from above, death from above on these jellyfish. So again, I, I don't need a whole lot here. Uh, let's see how I do. Not too bad. Not too bad. Eight hits so far. Um, they, they do get progressively harder. Uh, that first round is is quite simple. If you know the pattern, you know when to drop your, your cannons. Because like I said, as soon as you hit a jellyfish, it disappears. You can drop another one. If you miss, you got to wait till them... They go all the way to the bottom before you can drop anymore. You can also control your speed in the plane fast. Uh, so there I try to go fast and then coming in, slow down to drop your bombs, speed off the screen again. Uh, you get more shots off that way. So 22, we'll divide that by three. should give me seven. Let's see. Yep, seven always rounded down. That'll be more than enough shells to finish the game. Now there, remember which way you're going. So see, I hit 30,000 points and the submarine appeared. If I wanted it, I could go for it. Um, at this point, though, I'm just going to go for the fifth level up on the power, and boom. Seems to happen. The shallow water is definitely the harder parts, um, especially when you get these sideways moving jellyfish. Again, um, I don't plan on dying. I plan on a perfect playthrough, so I'm going to play it safe here. Stick to the top. Don't go after anything too out of the way. Um, see, almost got you there. You don't want to get too close to the sides because the rays will get you from the side. Um this seems to be some shark infested waters with the baby sharks for sure. Um, no big deal. We're fine. Um, once you get those crabs, now if you die, you start back over with uh, at slow sp slow pace. I believe you lose half of your power as well. So if I were to die here, I drop down to two, and that's a lot more port running. So ideally, you don't die. Um, so here we go, level five. That cost me ten shells there. Um, I could go get the, the submarine here, and I believe that's what I'm going to try to do. But, uh, boom, hit jaw. So here we'll see I get control of the boat and lob those over. You press down, you will jump out of the bottom of the boat, or if jaws hit you, you will drop out of the bottom of the boat. Um, don't try to use as much time as you can to hit jaws with, um, with the cannonballs before you drop out of the bottom. So here we go. We're going to try to get him, get him down. 
keep shooting, keep shooting, and again, it's it becomes button mashing at this point, and uh, just a little bit of twitch reflex, almost like a shooter to to get out of my way. Like I said, uh, to get out of his way. Like I said, uh, check out Gunsmoke, my other uh, perfect playthrough or near perfect playthrough. I do it is a one credit. Uh, I do die once or twice, but uh, I beat Gunsmoke just the other day. Put that video up as well. Um, subscribe down below if you don't mind. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it. We're going to try to get some more of these videos up. Um, all right, going for it again. And right before I get to it, I hit something. And since Jaws was right there, but I hit something and not Jaws, I don't get control of the boat. That's all right. He's weak enough. I'm going to just finish this some bitch right now. Um, I, I, honestly, I wish we would have got something like the end scene from Jaws where we could have, uh, you know, the, the canister in his mouth and we blow him up, something like that. No, instead, we're treated to one of the stranger ways I could imagine of killing a shark. Uh, we're going to ram it with a boat, kind of like you thrust your hips forward. I don't know. So there's the boat. Uh, here comes Jaws. This, this is just about patience. You get three shots at this. It, this took me forever to figure out years years as a kid to figure out i get to this part and i could not get him anyway you've got as much time as you want until you use your three strobes so just be patient with it get him directly lined up you got to move right or left he will move off screen once you get him lined up once you get him in your sights boom there it is the trick is right between the first and the second line that's the key you hit him between the first and the second line that's it fly off into the sunset just like well nobody did in the movie um yeah that's it the end looks like uh, a nice sunset well thanks for watching everybody and i uh, hope you enjoyed it we will bring you another playthrough soon and uh, we'll get some friends in the studio and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun so subscribe below and we'll see y'all soon